Welcome to Odonet. Today I want to talk a little bit about how you could publish your own vector tiles using ArcGIS Pro. So if you have a very large data set and maybe you're thinking about publishing it as a tile layer, um, regular raster tiles like you normally would, uh, you might want to consider publishing it as a vector tile layer. So what I got here in Pro is this awesome map that I authored inside of Pro using the uh, smart mapping tools because I don't know uh, how to make things look cool. But it's uh, basically an aggregation of U.S. Census data um, aggregated down to hex bins, right? So there's an awful lot of data here. I can't really publish this as feature layers inside of ArcGIS Online. Uh, I could get away with publishing as tiles, but if I want to save some storage space and uh, make these a little faster when I go ahead and use them in applications, I can go ahead and create vector tiles. So the first thing I want to do is create a vector tile index. So I'm going to click on create vector tile index in here. Give it a second to load up, giving myself some an input map. That's my current map. Output tile feature class. I'm just going to call this uh, hex index. All right. And a package for ArcGIS Online. All right. So it's going to create my index for me. Click run. All right, cool. So now I've got my index that I created inside of ArcGIS, I'm sorry, not in ArcGIS Online. I've just got my index for my vector tiles. And basically, this is going to go ahead and define how the uh, vector tile layer is going to go ahead and uh, get packaged, how the different tiles are going to get generated, right? So if we look here, let me go ahead and make this so you can see through it. And I don't know Pro very well, but uh, I believe I can do color. So I gotta make this a little bigger. Okay, color, no color, outline, let's just make it red, make that a little bit thicker, click apply, and there we go, Sierra so tiles. So you can see here where uh, most of the data is more dense. We're gonna go ahead and create tiles down to the lower levels, but areas that we don't have a lot of data, like up in here, uh, we're not gonna create uh, tiles down that dense. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of uh, geometries up in here, so we'll just create a tile at this size, and we're good to go. We'll just uh, overzoom when we need to. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the geoprocessing tab again. So now I got my tile index ready to go. I want to create a vector tile package. So I'll create my package. Again, input map is going to be map. Uh, output file. Actually, let me turn off my index real quick. So the output file, so call my VT. And a tiling format is going to be index. You can also go with flat, so it won't use the uh, index file or go with the index itself. So if you go with the index, basically like we saw this area here where I had a larger tile uh, set up here, basically we're just going to overzoom those tiles to show the data inside the client. But So I'm going to go with that, and I define my polygons, my hex index here. I uh, give a summary, give some tags, and of course I'm going to go ahead and do test summary. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create my package. Let's see how fast that is. Create vector tile package. And just so you know, I am not speeding this up. I'm going to continue to talk and talk and talk and taking time, taking time, taking time, taking time. 95%. We're almost there, people. I swear. 95%. You can do it. This is also running in a VM, so I'm sure this would be uh, quicker if I was just running this on a regular Windows machine. And there we go. So our tiles were created, and it took, what, uh, 39.8 seconds to run. That's pretty quick to create tiles, right? Remember, there's vector tiles. Vector tiles are pretty quick to go ahead and create. Uh, it's not like raster tiles. So now at this point, I've done all that. I can go ahead and publish. So let me search for publish. Or is it called share? I think it's called share. Share package. There we go. So I will pick my package, which would be the, uh, what was it, guys? I forget. Uh, I forgot where I put it. Anyway, you can see I got lots of packages here. So I'll just pick a package, click open. Uh, give it a summary, fun, give it a tag. Of course, my tag is going to be test. 
and who I'm going to share it with, right? I'm share it with everybody, and then run it, and it's going to go ahead and publish this into the um, online account that I'm currently logged into, and that's it. Uh, this is going to take a little while to run. I, I'm not sure how the, big the package size is going to be, but it usually takes a, you know, a little while to get up, upload it to the site and then to process it and everything, but you should be pretty good to go after that. So that's how easy it is. Create your own data sets um, like you normally would if you want to uh, publish that data as a tile package of some sort. Uh, think about using vector tiles. They come in really handy. Um, they're really good for this kind of data. There you go. Thanks.